Good morning, grade fours. A new week, new exciting things to be done. Uh, I miss you guys and I love you a lot. I want you to ask you again, um, please use your masks and your hand sanitizer. If you go to the mall, um, every time, clean your hands. If you touch things in the shops, don't don't touch your face or anything anywhere on your body. And when you leave the shop, please remember to clean your hands again. Right? Please. Okay. Um, 20 July 2020. Test corrections you write on top. And video 49. And when you've done that, um, you go and fetch your test that I gave you. Um, that I gave you back and please I want you to find it in your green file because I made you put it in your green file and I made you um, look at put the marks or write the marks down in your test file so there is there can't be any confusion please make sure that your mom or dad or uh, granny helps you and what is you see what your marks were on that page it must be signed by any of those two three people okay so press the pause and do all this right please go and fetch your test and then you press play again okay so now you have this in front of you we are going to do now the corrections as i said and i'm going to do only a few sums i'm not going to do everything and um, that will take too long but i'm only going to uh, explain the sums that most of the kids got wrong um, either in a small little way that they forgot something or either the whole sum so please if you had the sum correct maybe you don't have to do it over again in your book as we're going to do it but if you had only a small portion wrong then you must also do it all over again because that will make you lose points when we write any exam or test in um, further on you must try and practice as much as you can and avoid all those small mistakes uh, so if your sum was halfway correct you still do it over again if there's only a small part that you forgot to do um, in any of the sums and it isn't completely correct you do it all over again the only time you the only sum you don't have to do all over again is the sum that you had completely correct. Okay, so we'll start with the first one, the money sum. Um, and also fold in your fold page in half quickly. I've, I've done it already, but just to show you and remind you. The first sum is 12 rand. No, 125 rand, 95 plus 12 rand, 99. Can you see underneath each other? That is a very important part of maths. So let's see. It's actually just a plus sum, as I've said, but now you will see why I'm doing this again. 5 plus 9 is 14. So it is 14. 10. 10 plus 9 is 19. What? 19. Now, before you go on to that... 6 plus 2. There's a very important thing. 
your comma. Lots of you didn't do that. 6 plus 2 is 8. 2 plus 1 is 3. And 1 and nothing is 1. So it is 138 rand 94. Now, if you forgot to write the rand and the comma, your sum is actually wrong because when I ask what is 125 rand 95, okay, let's look at this one. 125 rand 95 plus 12 rand 99. And you don't have the commas, the rand and the comma, your answer is actually 13,894. So if someone asks you, what is 120, 90, 25 rand 95 plus 12 rand 99? And you don't have that. You say that amount plus that amount is 13,894. And that is completely wrong. Hey? So if ever you're going to write a test again or exam or whatever and you forget the R and the comma for the cent. Cents. There are always two digits behind the comma. Then your answer will be wrong. This time in this test, I was kind to you and I marked it correct. But next time, I won't do it again. Because if the rand and the comma isn't there or aren't there, then your answer is wrong. Really wrong. No, because it can't be. Those two amounts can't be 13,894. See, okay, the next one is 356. Oopsie, there it is. 356 times 13. 356 times 13. There's a doctor in Somerset, Somerset West, where we sometimes go to and visit when we have some ailment. And he's always, he's very, very funny. He's always, always making jokes. So if you feel sick and you go to him for treatment, he's so funny. You, you, sometimes you laugh yourself um, into wholeness again or into healing again. And many times when he says, Okay, I must give you six. He when he when he uses the word the letter on the, the number six, he always says six. So a very funny and kind and wonderful man that doctor is. Right, so the next one. Three times six is eighteen. Eighteen. Three times five is fifteen. Yeah, 3 times 5 is 15, plus the 1 is 16. 16, 16. <laughs> 3 times 3 is 9, yeah, plus the 1 is 10. There isn't a 100 to uh, add to the the 10 there, the 10 hundreds of the 10 tens. So we put it over there now. Now, the terrible thing that most of you forgot, not all, some of you had it correct. If you have that number 356 and that, what is that? 10. That is a 10 now, 10 and a 3 times 10. Then you would know 356 times 1, the 1 there, is 356, and at the 0, then it's 3,460. So this is actually a 10 that you divide, uh, multiply by. So some of you forgot the 0 because you multiply with the 10s now. 10 times 6 is 6, 6, 
one to, uh, yeah 60 1 times 5 is 5 and 1 times 3 is 3 it's 1 times 6 1 times 5 1 times 3 and then you add those up it is 8 see 6 plus 6 is 12 12 1 plus 5 is 6 6 and 1 plus 3 is 4 there you go if you had only the one part wrong you do the whole sum all over again okay next one is 611 times 89 611 times 89 remember also please units under units tens under tens hundreds under hundreds thousands under thousands so many kids still remember still don't remember that Okay, so 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 1 is 9, that is quite easy, 9 times 6 is 54, I just want to rub out that 5 that looks like a 6 with a little roof on its head, 5,499, now what is this, it is 80, plus 9. See why we always do break up the numbers, add up the numbers, write the numbers in words and so on. Those things are so important. You think maybe this is a waste of time but it's actually not. It's to, it is to um, create a good memory of breaking up numbers and remembering numbers. And how it works so if you have 600 let's make it a bit bigger there 611 times 80 that's 18 eh? so 611 times 8 is 5 it is 4000 you will see now when it when we work it out you don't have to do it this way it's just to tell you what we are doing 4888 that is 611 times 8 and then still the zero you must remember so that's what we are doing here we had times the 9 9 times 1 9 times 1 9 times 6 now the 80 you add the zero there because we multiply with tens 8 times 1 is 8 8 times 1 oh this is a terrible 8 8 times 1 is 8 8 times 1 is 8 and 8 times 6 is 48 and then you add it all up 9 and a 0 is nothing, 9, <laughs> 9 times 8 is 7, Ugh, 9 plus 1, 9 plus 0 is 9, 9 plus 8 is 17, right, 17, now 5 plus 8 is 13, 6 plus 8, did I say times again? 5 plus 8 is three, 13. 5 times, 5 plus 8 is 13. 3 and a 1. 6 plus 8 is 14. 14. And 4 plus 1 is 5. Let's see that before. Um, maybe I said times for the 9 plus 0 is 9. 9 plus 8 is 17. 
5 plus 8 is 13 and 6 plus 8 is 14 and 5 plus 5 is Ah, oh, yeah, five. That's only five, so that's a five. Nine plus zero is nine. Eight, nine plus eight is seventeen. Five plus eight is thirteen. Six plus eight is fourteen, and that five is over there. Okay, now I'm going to do the whole sum now. Over there. So the number you have to hold is this, 2487 and underline it normally because I don't want you to get confused with the numbers under there. So that is 2000 divided by 2. If you, <clears throat> if you cover the zeros and you have 2 divided by 2 equals 1, and then you just add the three zeros. No? Or if you know what half divide by two means, divide by two is the same as half. What is half of two thousand? It is a thousand. Four hundred. And see my digits underneath each other is correct. Four hundred divided by two is two hundred. Eighty. Divide by 2 oops, is 40. Normally I read, make you write down all those and then you write the answers. It doesn't really matter. Um, it was at the beginning, I it was just by helping you to sort the numbers out. But you can do it like this uh, in that order or you can write it down like that and afterwards the answers doesn't matter 7 divide, divide by 2 is 3 and a half if you learned your half page as I asked you and warned you and you remember the half is not a whole number anymore yet not a whole number yet so it cannot stand under the units because it's not a unit yet so the half stays on its own then there's nothing and the three, nothing and the four, nothing and the two hundred and the thousand. So half of two thousand four hundred and eighty seven is one thousand two hundred and forty three and a half. Then we're going to rule off. The next sum we're going to do. <coughs> Is this okay let me see this part 600 plus 7 tens plus 12 tens plus 0 units but I'm going to write it like this not to write so um, such a such a long thing 6 okay move it over there Six hundreds like this. Six hundreds plus eighteen. Sorry, eighteen tens. I'm at the wrong one. Six hundreds plus seven tens. I'm sorry. Seven tens, seven tens plus twelve tens plus zero units, six hundreds plus seven tens plus twelve tens plus zero units. So I taught you, you can write it next to that sentence. I, I said, you, if it, it makes you a bit confused, you can work it out there. Ne? So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to make it a bit, bit smaller so that everything fits into the screen. So 
So you've got six hundreds, seven tens. So what is seven tens? It is the same as seven times ten. Right. So seven times ten is seventeen. What is twelve tens? Twelve times ten is hundred and twenty. Zero units, if you want to, you can write the zero units, but if you know zero units is just zero, you can just leave it out. So let's see what, what we have here. Nothing over there, so it stays zero. Seven plus two is nine. Six plus one is seven. So this answer is seven hundred and 90. See? 790. I worked it out there on the memo as well. There was something wrong there, but I made the correct answer there. So, that's what I taught you to do now. Can you remember on the videos we've done? Okay, now the next one is going to be this one, three hundreds, eighteen tens, one ten and fourteen units. So we'll see now. Um, three hundreds, three hundreds plus eighteen tens plus one ten plus fourteen units. Okay, so let's work it out. It's very easy. Because I taught you, that's why I taught you in that specific order. When you times or multiply with 10, you add a 10. When you multiply with a, hundred, ach, a 0, when you multiply with 10, you add a 0. When you multiply with 100, you add two zeros and so on. Eh? That's why I've done this before we got to these. So, we've done all the examples of many things before you got to this test. Okay, so now, three hundreds, eighteen tens. What is eighteen tens? It is eighteen times ten. What is eighteen times ten? Is hundred and eighty. One ten is one ten. 14 units. What is 14 units? Is the same as 10 plus 4. So it is 14. Just 14 units. Right. Okay, so you add all those up. It's 4. 8 plus 1 is 9, plus another 1 is 10, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So this answer is 504. There you go. Right now, we are going to discuss quickly the fractions. Okay, on page 3, see there? Page three. Okay, so I moved to the next page because I think this part underneath here will be too small, so we're going to go there. Now we have the fractions, only this I'm going to do. Which um, they ask, they ask, they ask, which one is the largest or the biggest, a half or one ten? If you look at half, here's a half, and you look at one ten, this is a very rough sketch I made um, for the fractions tens. Look at one ten and a half. 
which one is the biggest or the largest yes the hulk is the largest okay and then we had these fractions so i taught you before that half half of something what is half of a well, sixes six, sixes what is half if this this one is a half so this one you can either work it out some this times three is this so the top one must also be times three but it's very easy to remember what half of something is what is half of six three equals how many quarters what is half of a quarter two yes equals how many fifties what is half of a fifty it is 25 right and then only the last one one tenth is equal to a hundred how many hundreds i mean what did you do to get with the ten to get hundreds you timed it by ten then you see ten times ten is a hundred what you do at the bottom you do at the top or what you do at the top, you do at the bottom. So these are 10 times 10, 10 times 10. So it must be 1 times 10. So it is 10 hundreds. And there you go. There are more corrections to be done, but I chose only these few. Not to make such a very long video, but here it is. I hope you will find out the others. We will discuss it in between when we have class and when we're together. So thank you for listening. I hope it's clear to you. Please, please do the corrections. I'm going to check it on Wednesday when we get together. Okay. Bye.